<laughs> Max, congratulations. Thank you so much. God, it was, it was last June when I first met you at the mm -hmm. Today Show. Yes, indeed. And I've been, you know, and every once in a while, we'll, 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 uh, you know, I'll catch him online, Instagram, say, hey, buddy, just watching you. Yeah, then yeah. I saw the video you did for that song. Yes, indeed. I'm like, that's yeah. pornography. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Have you seen it? It's so hot. I don't know. Elvis, your shirt's kind of pornography. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey. See? These are peaches. <laughs> no. They're not. They're, he they're can't not, even look at you, Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> they're not private parts. They're peaches. Be nice. Somebody, somebody dared me to do that. Yeah. So I had to do it. I had to. You, you right. set it up. I wasn't going to just say it. I don't like this now. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! So, anyway, start over. so I, so I, I, you guys just shot the video for that song, Lights Down Low, yes, and, I, and I sent you a little personal message. I said, Max, I don't know. Is this a good time to be, you know, acting, you know, like a. Like a saucy wench in a video. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, and, and, and that, that beautiful woman you guys hired yeah. to be in the video. You went, that's no beautiful woman. That's my wife. That's my <laughs> wife. <laughs> I love how you said wench, too, because my wife is British. So I would never say that. That was perfect. And Emily is here with us today. She is indeed. Yeah, she's right there. Hey, I, I, didn't know, I, I didn't know Max was married. I'm like, well, you shouldn't be putting stuff. On. But then I found out it was your wife. I'm like, oh, that's beautiful. Then it's okay. Isn't that funny? <laughs> you're, when you're married, you're allowed to you know, put out dirty videos. <laughs> it was definitely a big risk for us, you know, because uh, I, I wrote the song and I proposed to my wife, Emily, with this song. So it's Aww. very special one to us. And it's well, been, yeah, you know, please. Look, look, I know you're here to be interviewed. Yeah, but, yeah. but it, it, can I talk to Emily for just a you second? You can talk, please. She's the star. Emily, do you mind? Always. Do you Emily, mind? come over here, boo. No, I'm Emily. As good as this as Max is, though. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you very much for having Aww. us. Oh, he's a, he just kissed yeah. her. <laughs> Would you please? I, I want everyone to know how how romantic this this Max guy is. He could not be more romantic if he tried. Even the way that he proposed to me, he. Let's talk about it. How did he propose to <sighs> it's you? It's quite elaborate. So he was on tour at the time. Uh, he was supposed to be coming. I was living in Chicago at the time. He was supposed to be coming in the next day. And my girlfriend who introduced us was like, let's go to brunch. So we went to brunch and it was at the place that Max and I had our first date. And um, on our way out, we stopped in this other room that was in the building. And Max was there with a harp player. And his parents had flown in that morning because the ring had just been finished made. It was his great grandmother's ring. Aww. And he Aww. sang Lights Down Low <laughs> with the harp player. And then got down on his knee. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> and then I had to go to work immediately afterwards. Oh. Yeah, and then she, she was a nanny, and then we went to her. I went with her. I was like, all right, what do we do now? It's always, nobody ever tells you, like, what do you do right after you propose? It's yeah, like, like all right, question. cool. So, like, what are we doing now? <laughs> like, I guess you go to work, and I'll just come hang out. All right. We, well, and then, of course, all guys are like, God, this dude makes us all look bad. <laughs> Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. So, as I said earlier, Max, watching you go from the day I first met you, and you were already well on your way when we met you back in June at the Today Show, and watching you go around the world, and your the fan response is just electric. It's it's an honor, and it was an honor. thank you again for for bestowing that honor upon me. You're, oh please! You know I'm a Hell's Kitchen born and raised boy, so this is uh, this is I was nervous. The, like I wasn't nervous, and then the second before we started saying, I was like, oh Lord, we're doing this. This is like the show. This is the one I grew up on. This is like it weird? all went right away, and then and I'm just I'm ple I'm just an honor. It's it's wonderful. This is so cool. And Max has been working with some incredible people. I mean, going on the road with the Fallout Boy and Wiz Khalifa. Oh yeah, lots of different smells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what is it? What is it like backstage? Uh, the it's, three of you groups together. Yeah, that's a <laughs> fascinating question. Uh, I I love that tour because you know the Fall Out Boy guys—they're all so wonderful. We're all very small humans, which is cool, and <laughs> and uh, and it's amazing. Like Patrick, especially, it's it's so cool to see him be this rock star on stage, and then backstage he's with his baby on his chest and yeah. his dogs, and he's like, "Yeah, honey, I'll be yeah." It's, Is that it crazy? Good show. It's so crazy. But Pete Wentz is still a little nuts. Though. Yeah, he's doing his thing, man. He's, he's <laughs> but he's too. His kids to show up, and he's like, same thing. It's like Pete goes on the bus, and he's like holding his baby after. But then Wiz, like, wow, that. Man lives true rock star life. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like his his dressing room after every show, he had the same setup, so it was like a little mini club in his room after every show. Well, Lots the, of different smells, like but I wait, said. But Max, Whole what thing. what do they say about you? I should have asked. Like, how was Max on the road? Yeah. I oh, mean, what were you? I mean, were you the crazy guy backstage? Nah, or were I, you I, I like to bring all my energy to the show, and then and then you know I'm down for an adventure, but but I, I'm not too wild after just because you know yeah I just never know what's the next day. But my, my partner Ryan does all the crazy crazy stuff. Sometimes we'll have like we I remember there was one show on that tour that we had like five performances. We did like a morning show and the show and all these things, and right. he pulled an all nighter one night Oof. on the five show day, and he was like I got this, and then like three shows in I know him too well, and he just was like oh I'm I'm gonna fall asleep. By the way, that was Ryan on guitar. Ryan 
Yeah. Yeah. Party Singing people yeah. from Long Island. Yes, indeed. I Long was, Island, baby. I was at one of those shows, and I remember all the Wiz Khalifa fans leaving and, like, all the Fall Out Boy fans coming in, and the <laughs> smell yeah, of yeah. the... I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm high, and I didn't even do yeah, anything. Yeah, exactly. There you crazy. go. You could, you could just walk into the show, yeah. and it would be a different world for you, a <laughs> different energy. If you're just turning us on, this is Max. But wait a second. Yeah. You had a Schneiderectomy. I did. Schneiderectomy. Uh, <laughs> no, okay, well, you used to be Max Schneider. Now you just want to go by Max. Yeah. Which is my dog's name. So I'm a little... I know. I, saw, I took some pictures in the dressing room. <laughs> yeah, if you started licking my face, I'd, I'd totally get one. I got you, baby. I got you. Now, um, That's so, after the show. So Max is easier to remember. It's very catchy. Three big letters, small guy. I know. <laughs> you rehearse that, I can tell. I, I rehearse it too much. I know, but if I go online and search for Max, I don't get you. So we got to figure that out. We, yeah, we got to make you, you more searchable. Well, the, you know? the hope is that if I just keep hustling, and it'll be the it'll be the first thing to show up. But you I know, w- it's very ungoogleable, and the Schneider Act to me was not probably the best for the Googling. Wait, I love that word, ungoogleable. Ungoogleable. <laughs> Let's talk about other fun yeah, words, yeah. like uh, schmagaggle. Schmagaggle. <laughs> schmagaggle. Uh, schmagaggle, yes. What so, is schma- schmagaggle? It's, it's just like a it's it's act it's not supposed to be a term of endearment. It's a Yiddish word. Uh so I'm half Jewish and there's a few uh in my squad. There's a couple of half Jews, Ryan as well, and we all make up like one or two full Jews. And so um, actually one of the one of the one of the guys we work with, uh I've never so one day we started calling each other like Schmagaggy, being like, yo, who's a Schmagaggy? Like what's and it's and it's but it's supposed to be an insult, but it's a term of endearment but for us. Why don't you now change your name to Max Schmagaggy? That's a really good we question. Could Google that. My Super dad Googleable. my dad really wants me to go by uh, uh, Mordecai Mercury. He, that was my that was my Hebrew name, Mordecai. So he was like, "Yo, you should go by." I was like, "Bruno Mars is already taken down." Just go by. Uh, not trying to be Mordecai Mercury. Just, yeah, if we're gonna get stereotypical, just call you Irving. Irving. <laughs> Irving. <laughs> You're such a sh- schmendrick. But then I lose the three big letters, small guy. That's you know, true. It's, yeah. it's a lot of little letters. Yeah. I always love to like follow, do a follow up from all our artists that we have had on the Today Show, and yeah. this is way over a year later, or right at a year later. Like, where are you now? What are you doing next? Oh my gosh! Yeah, the last time I saw you, I was I wasn't married. Of course, it was a very different world for me. Um, I'm I'm just really trying to. I, I'm I've got another album I'm working on right now. Lights Down Low is the last one from the last record, and I'm right. almost done. And and I guess I just you know it, what I learned the most from Lights Down Low is a big risk for us. You know, getting married at 24 and trying to be a, a solo artist is definitely not something people would recommend in the music biz. But I think that it's a time where people are very transparent. People want to people can see when something's real. And and I think for me, I was never really the party guy I wasn't like I wasn't you know I wasn't hanging out with a million girls and that just wasn't my thing and so it was definitely I'm, I met the love of my life and I was like I, this might ruin my career but but I have to be yeah, with I this think person. you're right though I think and, it, yeah. that, that's all changed you, you, oh, yeah, yeah. Totally. you're not a party guy but that shirt screams Yo, party. we try to party <laughs> but we just you know I'm, I go to sleep after the show you know it's like I'll play the club and then I'll like go to bed and you know partake in the smells whatever you yeah. know so <laughs> it's like exactly exactly we've really painted a picture of uh, being on the road a very smelly thing yeah. it's a very in all ways very much so yeah is it hard to perform with a contact high um I haven't actually had one yet and I've really? never d- I've never someone asked me that the other day and I was like I was like, I don't, I've never done that. I don't know. How, I, you know, it might be an interesting experiment. Yeah. I'm floored by people who do that. You know, it's definitely crazy. But yeah, just working on a lot of music and just wanting to be as vulnerable as possible. I think that, you know, for me, uh, it's it's so important to not write to try to make a hit anymore. It's so important to just bear your soul and if it becomes well, something talk about wonderful. That. Yeah, yeah. So when we hear your new album, it'll be reflective of, of this great life with a great wife and a great... Totally. But I'll tell you how we know what's going on in artists' lives. Yeah, yeah. Listen to their music. <laughs> totally. Like the other day, I was uh, Jake Miller. I yeah, ran yeah, into yeah, Jake yeah. Miller uh, down in Miami at our, at our uh, I Heart uh, Summer 17 mm-hmm. weekend by at and Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I looked at him and, and I, I said, let me give you a hug. He said, what's wrong, bro? I said, I just listened to your album. I understand you went through a breakup. Yeah, yeah, there you go. His album is about this sad, sad breakup. Yeah, it was he's like a seven-year relationship. Yeah. I know, I know. Mm-hmm. He's going to be here Thursday. And he's yeah. like, you're right. People listen to my album. They come and hug me. They know, exactly. Hey, it's A.N. I, I have a song on this record. I, I had, you know, my... Um, a couple of people pass away in my life, and that's a, that was a big thing for this record. And how you, you know, how much you put into other people. It's a song called "Where Am I At," and it's it's interesting how when you lose someone in your life, how you realize how much they were a part of you, and and you finding yourself after you lose someone is really important. Wow. One person who actually she lived in New York her whole life, 103 years old, was my great aunt Alice, and we would see her every every time we came back because you you got to make time for the people that you love in your life because. I made the mistake of a teacher of mine not seeing him before he passed away. And, you know, we all have crazy busy lives. We all work, all the things. And, you know, you, it's making time is the most important because you can always make time for those people. And we always made time for Annalise, and I'll never regret that. And when she passed away, I was almost, 
relieved that she you know she lives such an incredible life so that was a that was a big theme of this next record and then of course you know i'm, I'm very energetic and, and partying so it's really like it's like oh how do i get crazy and luxurious and lavish and very excited and then also bear my soul because that was a really you know that was a really game-changing thing for my life that's what artists yeah. do mm-hmm. yeah. and you do it very well max of course lights down low featuring nash is available now and i'm ready for a new album yeah, I got you, man. When, when are we going to hear it? Oh, very soon. I'm, you know, right every day. <laughs> right every day. Tell you, we they got some new singles this summer, though. And I'm going on tour uh, all fall, Australia, Europe, U.S., uh, Meteor Tour. And, uh, yeah, so it goes on sale, I think, next week. Tell everyone how to follow you. Yeah, it's uh, Max G. Schneider, the Schneider's still there on all the socials, okay. Max G. Max Schneider. G. Schneider, three big letters, small guy, Max. And yeah, hit me up. I, I like responding to everybody, and I'm so honored to be on the show. Thank you guys We're for having me. We're honored to have you here, Max. Thank you guys. Fantastic. We'll be right back. It's wonderful.